Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Imagine a world where we can no longer trust anyone with our secrets, any duties, any form of responsibilities. Whatever we ask someone to do, it never gets done properly. I'm sure we all don't want to live in such a world because we will not feel safe at all. It sounds like a dystopian world. Nothing gets really done. Everyone is in some kind of danger all the time. Whilst the world as a whole may not come to that, our own little worlds, which we experience every day, may suffer because of the lack of responsibility and trustworthiness of ourselves or the people we deal with. We often hear of families getting into trouble, breaking up because a family member that has become untrustworthy or irresponsible. Such individual and social repercussions are so green. And that is why responsibility is so highly valued in Islam. Indeed, Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are due, and when you judge between people, to judge with justice. Being trustworthy, I mean, is a prerequisite to becoming a messenger of God. Because God can only entrust His message to those whom He can trust. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was known from a very young age as As Sadiq Al Amin, the truthful and the trustworthy, because he would fulfill all his obligations, deliver all the trust that people have given him, and convey the messages God sent him the exact ways God wanted of him. As we live in a society, we have responsibilities towards each other to ensure that our actions do not harm other people and cause danger to others. This is called social responsibility or our civic duties. And these two are important parts of our teachings. If we think lightly of this, our society will break apart. The Prophet ﷺ gave an example that one of the branches of our faith in God, Iman, is to remove a harmful object from the road or the passageway. Thus, to keep our country safe and clean, to prevent harm in our streets and homes, are all part of being responsible Muslims and responsible citizens. I leave you with a very powerful hadith of the Prophet There is no faith for one who cannot be trusted and no religion for one who cannot keep a promise.